you understand that this game might not be here for you forever. You gotta take advantage of every opportunity you possibly get. Take me through your year. What was that like? It was interesting, it was humbling. Coming off one of my best seasons in 2017, getting waived because of cap space. Then signed with Carolina and thought it was gonna be a great fit. One, two with Christian McCaffrey, thought that was gonna be great complimentary football between me and him. And then he just emerged. I mean, he, he took over. And when they brought me in, um, you know, week nine, they was like, man, we gonna move on with our franchise running back. And he was taking 98% of the snaps at the time. And I was frustrated. And then uh, I got to Oakland, so I'm excited. I'm back home, my mom, <laughs> two old linemen go down. And Gruden brought me in and st strictly said, gotta bring a guy back we, re we released earlier in the year. I thought it was over there. You know, I thought, I thought it was done. So when you're getting bad news after bad news, time and time again, was it a point where you sit back and go, man, I think I'm just going, I'm going to bronze them cliques? It was close. It was close, but it wasn't, it wasn't all the way there because I was like, man, I'm not getting released because of talent. I'm getting released because of circumstances and time. You know, I told myself whether that's March with the perfect time in the free agency next year or the time I got now, uh, just prove your opportunity. And then you signed with the Rams basically as an insurance policy for Todd Gurley because he was had some nicks and bruises. I mean, clearly they was going to the playoffs. What went through your mind? Well, I, nah, I definitely want to be a part of it. I knew I could bring some type of experience while I'm, whether I'm playing or whether I'm not. Now, when I got the opportunity to, to take the load, it was more like, man, you know, prove yourself so you can get some carries. So you got three straight 100-yard games. <laughs> You're about five foot six <laughs> and probably about 300 pounds. <laughs> Close to it. <laughs> but in the grand scheme of things, you don't play that way. No, not at all. I, I've, what's the, you what's fat, the best man. way? You fat, man. Oh, facts. See, yeah, I ain't worried about that. Fat back. I, was, I got that nickname when I was at Cal. You know, I was always at some type of chubby or chunky. At week 15, I thought my season was done. We'll start get going back in training for January 1 to be ready for March you know, for free agency, so, you know, you in shape, you can sign and those things. That's what I told myself. Well, that went wrong when I signed with the Rams, so um, I just play that with attitude, nastiness. So when you look at it, though, CJ, you, you look at Todd Gurley, who, 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 who his body is ridiculous, oh, yeah. 220, 225, somewhere in there, and they got you listed in the Rams program as, like, 225. Yeah, that's where I was supposed to play at. That's what, what, what you think you at, though? Right now? Yeah. Oh, I'm definitely like 234, 235. So 245, okay. <laughs> nah, about I ain't in the 240s. I know that for a fact. I can't move the way I'm moving if I was 240. I'm definitely 235, so um, I'm also expecting a daughter, so I, I guess I got that, that they say, like, you know, men put on weight, too. Do you think, though, your size, obviously, is a power, I would consider you a power back. You intimidate the second wave of defender? I try. I try to. I'm trying to make you feel my story, and I'm trying to let you know that you didn't go through some of the things I went through in life. You didn't go through some of the things I just went through the past eight months of 2018, so I'm just trying to let you feel that.